Hey everyone! We recently covered how to build a variety of organic soil mixes, some of which require a little bit of time to develop before it's ready for use. And if you're not sure if your custom built potting soil is ready for use yet, or if you want to just test how much nutrients are built into, let's say, a back soil mix or in your outdoor ground soil, then you might want to consider using a basic soil test kit which can test for available nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels, as well as the current pH of your soil. These aren't as accurate as lab tests, but after multiple uses, I did find them to be a pretty good indicator on figuring out when your soil is ready for use. They're also really affordable, generally costing less than 50 cents per individual test. So like, a dollar or two if you're testing nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and pH at the same time. So first, for the pH test, you just drop in a small amount of soil sample into the test container, fill up to the line with water, pour in the contents of the included test capsule, give it a good shake, and then let the soil settle down before checking on the color of the water, matching it with the chart on the right to determine the current pH. The other three tests require you to place one cup of soil with five cups of water. Stir it so that the bioavailable nutrients in the soil mixes in with the water. Wait for the soil to settle down. And then use that nutrient-filled water to fill each of the test containers up to the fill line. Pour in the corresponding color test capsule give it a good shake, and then match the colors with the chart. Here, you can see the results of my super soil potting mix, which has been sitting around for almost two months now. So a lot of the built-in nutrients are starting to become bioavailable, hence why the colors are so dark. The nitrogen colors look to be even darker than surplus, while the phosphorus and potassium levels are at around the surplus range, which is to be expected since this type of soil mix is specifically made to be extremely nutrient dense. And remember that this is only able to read what is bioavailable to the plants at the time of testing. It won't be able to check the total nutrient contents of the soil since it only reads what was able to separate from the soil and mix in with the water. This explains why the nitrogen levels are so much higher in this specific test. Because in the super soil mix, we added in a ton of bioavailable nitrogen in the form of worm castings. The phosphorus and potassium is coming from more solid forms of organic fertilizers. So even though these two levels are in the high range, if I left it for another month or two, both the phosphorus and potassium levels should also be off the charts. Which, I mean, that's the whole idea of the super soil mix, right? In that it's heavy in nitrogen early on to support a burst of vegetative growth, and then when the nitrogen gets used up, it'll be replaced with more phosphorus leading into the flowering stage. I also did this test on a raised bed that I built recently, and here the test looks a lot different. It's kinda hard to see in the light, but both the nitrogen and potassium content is between deficient and adequate, while the phosphorus levels are closer to sufficient for some odd reason. And I added like a ton of different things to this garden bed, since I filled it with the Hugo culture method. So as all the organic matter inside slowly decomposes, I'm sure the amount of bioavailable nutrients in the soil is going to constantly fluctuate. But this does tell me what the soil is lacking now. In case I wanted to grow something right away, I would try to supplement some additional nitrogen and phosphorus. So yeah, these give a great snapshot of what's currently in the soil, and with how cheap it is, it's something I plan on using pretty often when mixing my own potting soil or to diagnose my garden soil if needed. And that's it. 